If you're like us, then there just aren't enough seconds in a day for you to talk politics. Now, in the interest of time, we'll run through some stories. Each one will get 25 seconds to tell you why they matter. All right. Let's put 100 seconds up on the big clock. Ready. I like your stretching. Yep. Count yep. it down. I'm You're ready. going first. Three, two, a one go. Okay. So former Congressman Jesse Jackson sentenced to Jesse Jackson Jr. has been sentenced to two and a half years in prison after pleading guilty to misusing campaign campaign funds. Number of charges here, including conspiracy conspiracy to commit wire fraud, mail fraud, false statements, misusing campaign funds. The judge in the case said he broke the law three thousand plus times. Really sad story. Also, his wife is in trouble. She was sentenced to one year plus restitution. Unbelievable. Elliot Spitzer, he's probably going to be the next New York City Comptroller, Jackie. New poll, Quinnipiac University, he's up 56 to 37 over Scott Stringer, who everybody thought was going to win before Elliot Spitzer decided he wanted to run right. the race. I always figured that with Anthony Weiner and Elliot Spitzer going to be on the same Democratic primary ballot in September, only one, two men enter, one man leaves. It looks like that one man is going to be Elliot, Elliot Spitzer. Spitzer. Right. So the uh, Republican National Committee is leaving is uh, in meeting in Boston this mm -hmm. week. One thing we're watching is on Friday they're going to vote on whether to let CNN and NBC host debates. Probably not. Gonna, this is probably not going to happen because of their Hillary documentaries. They're saying they should scrap them. NBC and CNN have said thanks, but no thanks. We're going to keep them for now. We'll see. I mean, you know, they and only have so they many. They only it, have so many options. Can they make so, it whole? Mm, dang it! I had so much analysis there. Okay, final <laughs> thing. Indiana University did a study that says the candidate in a two-person race, the candidate who gets most mentions, not good, bad, or indifferent, just mentioned the most on Twitter, usually wins. All publicity is good publicity, it's, I guess. It kind of shows. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. It's that people vote. Name identification is an incredibly powerful thing, particularly in down ballot races. People vote the name they know, not necessarily the name they agree with. Name they agree with. Got, I got it. I got it. One more time. That buzzer haunts All right. me. <laughs> it's a little intense. It's huh. true. It's true. So, do you think we're missing anything? If so, get, a, get at us at the Twitters. Hashtag in play. <laughs>